viewers, uh, this is Brian again, uh, a member from Me Farms. Today we're bringing to you another episode of our farm management uh, practices and uh, support that we are providing. Today we are here in um, uh, Kanyarieru, um, Panga Mushanj village. It is um, around Viharwe, um, the road uh, entering um, Barara city, it's the western part of Uganda. Um, this particular farmer that we have uh, visited, uh, it's called uh, Udes um, Farm. Uh, this farm uh, is owned by a gentleman who is based in South Africa. So he approached us, uh, similar to other farmers, I wanted to uh, get the farm management support. So we have built uh, this farm from scratch. As you can see, we've uh, managed to establish uh, this structure in the background, ensuring that it is uh, technically accepted. Um, the main, main, main issues to consider is uh, the height from the ground, uh, one meter to one and a half meters, uh, which is reasonable, uh, mainly to avoid uh, transmission of disease, because as the uh, goats um, excrete, um, uh, the, the droppings can uh, become a breeding area uh, for bacteria, uh, which would um, uh, uh, create disease. And other is to ensure that uh, we have well fixed feeders, as you can see. We are also uh, uh, creating a water reservoir, uh, trying to harvest uh, the water. So utilizing all the resources that we have uh, in this building, as you can see, uh, the uh, plumbing work is uh, nearly completion. Uh, we've uh, installed uh, the tank, it's a 10 liter tank. It's going to be holding um, uh, 10 liters of water. And uh, this farm being at the hill, it projects a very good uh, uh, descent uh, for, uh, for, for the drainage where the animals are going to be staying and I'm going to be showing you uh, in the play area as well as inside uh, the building. <music> we have three partitions uh, this is the general part the general partition within the main structure which is going to have all categories um, of animals uh, general herd and uh, the way it has been built it is well aerated because we want to avoid dampness uh, within the structure we also have embedded uh, feeders as we have showed you so they can feed even when they are inside. Uh, uh, differently, we have uh, the kids pen, which is a little bit compacted on its wall, and the reason uh, is because the kids need warmth, so they do not need uh, uh, to be affected by too much air. So that's the only difference between the kids pen, or the partition for the kids, and one for the general herd. And then the third partition is for uh, the bucks. We want to ensure that we have a controlled breeding, we are limiting the bucks and uh, identifying which buck can mate uh, with the animals at any point in time. Uh, we are also going to uh, erect uh, compartments above uh, because this house is, is well raised where we can use as a storage for hay uh, in the meantime. So this is how uh, it's being structured. So please do contact us if you want to have as such technically standard acceptable structures our mobile computers are on the call they can come to wherever you are it is through two-way approach uh, you can uh, work with them from scratch and they support the entire construction or uh, you can work with your local outsourced labor and uh, this these carpenters provide the technical support as a form of a formal approach just to guide on the right measurements. They can also help you in um, uh, deciding and uh, developing the bills of quantities uh, which detail the cost of materials needed. So through that discussion you can identify uh, cost cutting, 
should you have uh, some materials already on the ground or uh, determine, make decisions around the cost of what materials are needed? Uh, this is our security strategy uh, on this farm, uh, Udes farm. Uh, this farmer invested uh, hugely uh, in the perimeter, so using the natural age. Also invested uh, in the security dogs. All these are being done uh, to guard uh, from uh, intruders and uh, uh, people who can destroy or encroach uh, thieves and so on. So we want to encourage all farmers to always plan because when you make this farm, it's a huge investment. So you do not want to uh, lose uh, your fortune uh, because of uh, uh, errors or missing any steps in uh, your ventures as you establish. So we'll provide all this support uh, once you join us and uh, work with us. Thank you for listening to me. Please contact us on the contacts below this video. Thank you so much.